Hi there, thanks for joining me. Um, today we're going to do this cute little turtle rock. I've seen quite a few of these uh, I've done in different ways, but it's basically the same sort of idea. Um, and we're going to use some different products for this. What's nice about this is you don't have to base coat your rock at all. You can use a blank rock. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about what we're using as we're using it. Okay, so let me move this uh, sample rock out of the way. And right here I have an assortment of, uh, I guess they're called basic, um, B-A-Z-I-C, um, permanent markers that I thought I would try out for another project, but uh, then I decided to try, to try them on rocks as well. So um, I'm going to pick this blue to get the water started on our rock. And they're permanent markers, fine point, and I got them at the dollar store. So if you're looking for a bargain and want to add something different. So we're going to go ahead and um, I use the fattest part of the rock to do my water. And I do it at an angle. I might start out making a line of a line around the center of the rock because I'm only going to do the top. I leave mine half the time blank at the bottom and put my labels on there. So we're going to just put our line. Not very good at making a line today. Okay. And then I'll kind of angle it a little bit crookedy like that. And then I'll just color it in. The color we're using is, uh, well, it doesn't say. So it looks like we're just using the aqua blue color. It looks really light blue until you get it on the rock. Then it looks kind of more of an aqua green, darker green, seaweed green, I would say. Anyway, so we're just going to color that section in. And that will dry really fast. Then we're going to add some apple barrel acrylic paints. These two here, I have one that's sort of like a wet sand color. Um, and one for a lighter sand color. Or I call it dry and wet sand. Okay, we've almost got this colored. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Just make sure you fill it all the way in on that, that top corner. Okay, so this is what we have now. Okay, so we'll put the marker away. And we're going to get a little bit of sand color here. What I'm using here is Apple Barrel Light Mocha 21489E. And I use that a lot for these rocks. Now I'm going to turn my rock so that the color is to my left, and I'm painting my mocha color. Not the whole rock, but just the middle. I would call it the middle section. Just a light coat. Doesn't have to be done perfectly either. This is a real quick and easy gift rock, I would call it. Because every time I make one, somebody wants one. So it's kind of popular, and I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, so I don't paint the whole rock, just right up to, you know, in the middle and, and right up to the green or blue marker. Okay, wash my brush off. And let's see. Okay, so next we're going to use the Apple Barrel Antique White. That's product number 20505E. And that's going to be for our dry sand. And we want to put them close together because we may have to mix them just slightly to get the effect we're looking for. Kind of like wet sand goes into dry sand, goes into water, goes into froth of the ocean. So we're just going to let this dry a little bit. Not too much because we're going to wet our brush actually and try to blend in a little bit of our ivory with it. Don't want it too wet either, just a little bit of water. Okay, and we're going to just put our dry sand at the other end. And 
Okay, now I'm going to get my brush cleaned off. And we don't need to dip in the water for this. We just wash it off, dry it, but leave a tiny bit of water. Now we're just going to kind of blend that, that frothy, dry, wet sand together. Just kind of smear it around like this. You know, you could just kind of do circular motions with your brush. And it's okay if the rock shows through just a little bit. So now we have our water, our wet sand look, and our dry sand look. And if the rock shows through too much and you want a little bit more of the antique white, you can add. Just kind of dab it on there like this. And let it dry. Okay, so our rock is just about dry. But right now we're going to work on the other end. So I can hold it in my hand and it'll be drying as we're working. Okay, now I'm taking my medium tip painter's marker, color um, baby blue. And I want to have, first of all, a little water on my brush, clean brush, little water. Um, we're just going to make some squigglies all over our marker many or as few as you like. You can go right up to the wet sand, which is the mocha color we used. And just do half the rock. You don't want to take too long though, because you want to start smearing that color around with your brush. You might even have to just do a, a, like half of it and smear and then the other half. Whatever works for you. Sometimes I can work fast and sometimes I can't. And of course I'm outdoors in my backyard, so uh, I've got some wind factor here that's probably drying things up sooner. Okay, I'm having a hard time smearing it. What you can do in that case is just add a little water to your palette and let your brush, your clean brush sit there. And just add some more of your painter's light baby blue. If you don't have baby blue, you can use any blue you want for the ocean. Um, and you know, you can pick out your own sand, sand colors as well. This is just what I'm using and what I do my rocks with lately when I'm doing the turtle rocks. So, if you get too much water and it starts dripping all over your rock, just kind of dab your brush and continue on. So we want to just, sometimes you got to rub it a little bit just to get it in the mood. And if that doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't, depending on, like I said, your weather. It's pretty warm here today, so we've got a breeze, so it's... I may have to do a little bit of regular acrylic paint on that one. So let me get some acrylic paint here, and a baby blue. Or something similar. Okay, I have the Apple Barrel Blue Cotton. And it's product number 21886E. And whenever this happens, which isn't frequently, but I'll just use that instead. Okay. We already have a little water here on our palette. We'll just get the corner. Kind of side load your brush. Maybe dab it out a little. Get a little more color. Just move it around right up over the edge of the wet sand. Okay, so we've got like this. Can you see that? Let's see, am I going too high? Okay, about just like that. Next, we're gonna put on the white froth from the ocean on the water's edge. And for that we're going to use our white apple barrel. Um, this is a 16 ounce bottle. These are really handy for white and black because you use a lot of that. So anyway, we're going to shake it up a little bit as I just bought it not too long ago and it's pretty new and been sitting for some time. Okay, so now we're going to change brushes. Now, I don't know if you know what a stencil brush is. This is the smallest of my stencil brush. It's flat on the bottom and rounded. They have bigger ones that are flat. 
because generally when you're stenciling you only dip in your paint straight on like this and you're almost going to get the paint off and then dry brush it. So we're going to do the same thing, but it's, it's kind of hard to see this stencil, stencil brush. Okay. So now even our, our water is still a tiny bit damp, we're going to just get the tip of our stencil brush. And we're not going to do it in a straight line. We're going to kind of go to the right, to the left. And we want it, sometimes I dab it off, like I said, almost dry brush it. But I didn't want to dry brush too much because the paint is still a little tiny bit wet and I recommend you let it dry in between. But for the sake of the video, we're going to just go ahead with this. So you just get a little paint just along the water's edge. You can come a little further into the wet sand or have a little more wet sand showing or whatever you want to do. Just until you're happy with it, okay? Then you let that dry. And then we're going to come back and put our turtles on and put our turtle tracks with our mocha and then we're going to Mod Podge it and our rock is finished. It's a quick and easy rock to do. You can get a bunch of them base coated, I mean not base coated, I'm sorry, we don't base coat these. We use the straight straight rock, the blank. Um, but anyway, you can do these in stages and, and get a whole bunch of rocks done quickly. And for me, that's a lifesaver. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're back. Our rock is pretty much dry now. You can see the, the water, the sea foam, a little bit of the wet sand, and dry sand. Okay, so once that's dry, and make sure it's completely dry, we're going to use Sharpie markers from here on out um, instead of paint. And the first one we're going to use is our black marker, Sharpie, with the ultra fine end and the regular tip. Now I'm going to write this, I'm going to write on my plate just so you see what I'm doing because it's so small you may not see it. I'm going to do this real tiny but I kind of do sort of a little thing like that for my turtle's head and color that in. Then I do kind of a bigger shape similar to that. And I don't do them perfect, you know, I just... Then I put the, in between there, I put the little turtle... legs. And coming off right about here, I, I put the little turtle back legs. So something like that. But I do it real small, real tiny. And I might do two or three turtles. So I'll do my little turtle head. And maybe I want a turtle over here. I'll do a turtle head. And maybe I want one over here. So I'll make the head and color that in. Then I'll add the body. Trying to get them about the same shape. Sometimes that's difficult to do in size. Okay, so I kind of have the bodies on there now and the head. Now I'm gonna, right between the body and the head segment, I'm gonna put the little foot and the back foot, feet. I'm doing them kind of quick here just for the video so normally I spend a little more time and maybe I even use the fine tip of the marker this one's getting kind of used and worn down so my turtles turned out a little bit bigger than normal okay but once I have them on there I'm gonna come behind each turtle with my Sharpie bronze. And I'm just gonna make kind of little drag marks behind them in the sand. So it looks like they've been dragging their little bodies across the sand to get to their ocean home. I just do kind of quick squiggles. 
down the angle that looks like they would have come from. They don't need to be real dark, just faint. And you can go over them if they're not dark enough for your liking. Um, I don't know if you can see the little drag marks. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for just a second. We're going to throw a coat, a coat of Mod Podge on there. And we are finished with our turtle project. These are fun and easy to make, and everybody seems to love them. So, like I said, I'm making lots of them. Um, because every time I make one, somebody says, oh, I want one. Anyway, they're really fun to do. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, so we're going to put our Mod Podge on now and seal our rock. And remember, if you need your rock to be sealed weatherproofed, you know, against rain and, and the elements or snow or what have you, uh, make sure to use the green label. Now I'm going to start on the side, and I always do this, because then I can kind of roll the rock around in my hand, do the side first, put a liberal amount on, then I can set my rock down some more Mod Podge on my brush and just do the top, smoothing it out all around. So we're going to let this dry and we'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay, our Mod Podge is dry. So here's our finished rock. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas of rocks or techniques that you'd like to see, um, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.